Yo. Dustin, what up? So, huge vape mail night. And um, everything that I got was from, of course, vape and art. And uh, we're going to show everything off real quick. And we're going to do a live um, first impressions build on the Squape A Rise. So I'll, uh, I'll give it a minute and then uh, we will show a few of the new things that we got in tonight. I'm vaping on one of them right now. Fuck off, Dustin. I know if I show everything right now, everyone's going to be fucking here in like five minutes. There's the Skuwaip. We also have the extension kit for it, which I think this brings it up to 8 ml, and um, lift gets more people. Hi, Tommy. This is another piece, the tank that just came in. Uh, this Imperia, Dustin? This one you're talking about? Black Rose, hello? This one? All right, looks like we got five people in here. So, I guess we'll just show the scrape. We're going to do a live build and first impression on the scrape. Um, but we're going to show everything that came in first. So, uh, here is, this is the little box. The scrape comes in. Yeah, typical bullshit tank insert. Underneath here, though, there is so much shit that comes with it. You got this huge, huge user manual. Look at that. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, why? Because I inhaled after? Because I did that? Just get that nicotine down. So yeah, there's the box that the Squape Arise comes in. There is the Arise. It's got the little Squape logo there. There is Airflow Hole. That is the Juice Flow and Airflow Control setting on the side there. Drip tip is pretty cool. It looks like the tip sits in a piece of... Like, it looks like the tank comes up, but it's actually part of the tip, which I like. You can see it says Arise there on the top. Little fill ports there. This is one of those turn style. Kind of like the, the, the S tank has the uh, turn style top there. <laughs> Um, so yeah, there's the scrape inside the packaging, the insert for the, ch the bell cap comes outside of it. So there's the insert. You got to install that and then you'll get that user manual I showed a little, 
a little pouch with uh, two pieces of cotton threads and then all these baggies. So I haven't even looked at these yet. So this is a chimney reducer. This brings the chimney down. Chimney air reducer for 4 ml. So that's to condense the chimney. This is a air disc. This is a a single hole one millimeter air disc. We're not going to use that. That's too tight. Then we have a dual 0.8 air disc. Not going to use that either. Triple 0.8 air disc. Still a little too tight for me. And then we have the four. 0.8. We're going to go with this one. Uh, this is still a little tight. I'm usually like a total of like 2.0 to 2.2 2 .2 millimeter airflow. Um, I have to, it's either you run it wide open without these or you run it with this. So I'm going to try it with this first and then see. And then obviously you get a bag of O-rings and grub screws. So we'll come back to this scrape here very shortly. <clears throat> you also get this little scrape rubber piece, and that's to, you know, grip pieces of the tank, of any tank. Also, what came from Vaping Art, we have a har. Actually, now that I think about it, where is the other har package? Here it is. Let's see if it's any different. So the original har packaging is identical. The only difference is the new one says DLC. Now, I have not taken this apart yet. As you can see, that is the DLC HAR, which in my opinion looks very good. So this is the updated HAR that has the O-ring around the deck, which should stop the seeping issues that the tank had. So let's go ahead and take this apart. I haven't taken it apart yet. All I did was throw it on the horizon to see how it looked. So as you can see, the deck is silver and everything else is DLC. Threading feels good. And there is the O-ring. Machining. Machining looks pretty good. DLC work looks pretty good. And here is the new deck. There you go. You got the O ring on it. So we'll see. I'll do a build on that maybe tomorrow or sometime this weekend and see if the new one stops the seeping, which wasn't too big of a problem. Um, however, I just want, even if this didn't have the O-ring, I still wanted the black car because it just looks, I knew I needed one for this mod. They just go together very well. Dave S., what is going on? Uh, Black Rose, I wonder if Steam Tuner is going to get involved with the A-Rise. Yeah, that is a good question. Jay, what is going on, bro? And then um, another piece, which was in 
with the um, vape and art vape mail is a U mod. There you can see the packaging. Nice wooden box. We're going to do a review on this guy. There's a matching drip tip in there. Um, here is the mod itself. Now, this mod was made for this tank. However, it wasn't made for the extension tank that I have on there right now. Here is the tank, but in regular 5 mil mode. So this mod was basically made for this or an Integra. And as you can see, it sits down in there. The only part that sticks up is the top fill piece so that you can get a grip. You can grab it from the back and the front right here, and you're able to twist that top fill off. So this mod was made for this tank in 5 mil mode. You can see it's a... The shape of it is a lot different. You know, it's almost like a. It reminds me of a Midas. Um, it's a. It's Delrin. It's got a carbon fiber battery tube, right there on the back. I really like this tube. You got your up and down button. DNA sixty small screen. Fire button is right here, so you can hold it with your. I've been firing it with my middle finger, thumb can rest here or around the side, and my pointer finger around the cage area. I'm going to go ahead and put the 7mm Imperia back on top, even though it doesn't look as clean as the 5mm. Now... In pictures, I didn't know about this mod. I didn't know if I was going to really love it. It isn't like the most, like the Horizon. You look at this, and this mod is just sexy as fuck. In pictures, this wasn't something that I was like, ah, oh, that is beautiful. But it interests me enough to try it. So as soon as I got it, I was like, oh yeah, I'm happy I pulled the trigger on it. The Delrin feels very good on it. It's a nice, soft, soft Delrin. Very smooth. Fire button feels very good. The ergonomics on this mod are very, very good. So, um, that's really it. We also got this uh, Oxva. RDTA, rebuildable head. Everything here came from Vaping Art. If, if you like this mod right here, the U-Mod Cryptic, this is on Vaping Art right now. $489.99 plus tax and shipping. The quality is definitely there. Anyways, so let's do... The first build on the Squape Arise. We'll do the first build and first impressions. Herb, herb, herb. So I haven't really, I mean, I watched bits and pieces of Claude's review on this tank. The only thing I wasn't a huge fan of is how the airflow control and the juice flow control are together. So the more you open the juice flow, the more you open the airflow. So we're going to separate it. Or attempt to separate it. Come on. There you go. Look at this big ass Allen key that comes with this. And that's so you can stick it up. The chimney is one big Allen key. You can stick this in there and un loosen this up. And that is how you get the extension tank on there, which um, I don't know. 
X1 if I should put the extension tank on it. So let's see. How does this go in there? How do you go in? Oh, you know what? I'm just going to set that on there. So the way that I'm going to get the insert into, because these come separate, the insert for the bell cap, I'm going to place it on the deck like so. So you can see how that condenses everything. That's where your coil is going to be. I'm going to place this on the deck in place, and then I'm going to put the chimney and tank around it. So at that point, it will be, it should be lined up inside of the tank. Okay. Wow, this thing has a lot of airflow. So the condenser is now in there, as you can see. I'm going to try to pop this quadruple. I'm going to try to pop this quad point eight airflow piece in there and see if it's too tight. Because if it is too tight, I'm going to have to run it wide open. So I'm going to go ahead and put that piece in there right now. All right, so Jay, Dustin, and Dave said X1, so it looks like I got to put the extension chimney on there, which I don't even know how to do, so we're just going to figure it out as we go. All right, so we now have those four airflow holes that insert in there. I'm going to put it on and make sure it's not too tight. Because if it is, I'm just going to have to run it wide open. Oh, wow. That's a lot more airflow than I thought. Yeah, that's... Way more airflow than I was expecting. So we're definitely going to run that. There's no coil in it, fucking Herb. All right, we are not going to fucking put the extension chimney on it right now because that bell cap piece is going to have to come out if I do that. And I literally just put it in there. Let's go with, let's get some coils. Of course, Mitch Green, dual 28, 40 wrap, twisted messes, nichrome 80. 
Exactly, Dustin. Thank you. Thank you. Stick to your Chinese bullshit. I'm just kidding. Chinese isn't bullshit. It's just not my style. Wow, this is... It looked like it was going to be a lot harder to get a coil in here, and it just popped right into place, no problem. Like, super easy. Much easier than I was expecting. It just put itself right in the fucking grooves. One side's tight, and the other side is tight. Gonna make sure we're nice and snug. Okay. Looks good. Nice and tight. Uh, by the way, I saw Dustin say, get that off the drag. This isn't a drag, it's a. Uh, What the fuck is this thing? Uh, I joy Shogun. I almost guarantee you, Herb, if I were to come up to Canada, hand you one of my setups that has a good amount of airflow and forced you to vape on it for like two days straight, you'd be like, yeah, I'm not going back to what I was vaping on because I used to vape on the same bullshit you vape on. Hey, Dustin, do you know what size this uh, scraper rises? I'm going to go ahead and guess that it's a 25. It looks like a 25. Pretty fucking big for a high-end tank. It's a big bitch. It's a 24. Hmm. Definitely a beefy, beefy fucking tank. I got the, um, the new golden Greek RTA. That should, that will be here tomorrow or Monday at the latest. The golden Greek, uh, Perseus. I'm pretty excited for that tank. I'm not going to lie. This Arise, I didn't really have the highest hopes for. So actually taking it apart and um, building it right now, I'm more impressed than I thought I was going to be with it. So I'm just bedding in the coil and positioning it. Okay, now this looks to be a gravity feed, that goes there, yep, so it's going to be a gravity feed, hmm. trying to decide how much cotton this looks like it wants. Mm -hmm. 
Who's Dustin's favorite reviewer? Who? Oh, he's going live? What time? Is he doing a, a stream for Donnie or just a regular bullshit stream? For Donnie, cool. Hey, uh, Thomas, I uh, messaged you on Facebook probably like an hour or so ago um, about the mod because Joe said that you won. Um so I talked to the modder two nights ago now, and the last update that I have is the mod is <clears throat> has the board out of it right now, and um, he is waiting for a new 75C from Evolve. And once he has a new chip to go in it, then the, the new chip will go in it, and it will be done. Said seventy five C herb. Seventy five color. All right, so I got some nice fluffy cotton packed down in those deep wells, just barely long enough to reach the bottom of the wells. It's nice and loose in there. Some gravity feeds, you want a fair amount of cotton so it won't flood. Some gravity feeds, you don't want that much. So I went somewhere in the middle. So, um, we'll see what that does. It could completely flood on me. It could dry hit. See what happens. That's how you learn a tank. No, Dustin, because uh, when I pulled on it before, it had more than what I needed. So if it does restrict it a little more, it'll be pretty fucking perfect, honestly. Let me open it all the way and check real quick before I fill it. Yeah, it's perfect. It's a little tighter. That hit tasted like it had absolutely no flavor, <laughs> but I have no juice in the tank yet, and uh, I barely dry burnt, I barely burnt the cotton in yet. I wear gear around her.
Um, I think I'm going to need to cut a little bit of that wick out there. It's not going dry on me, but it's not saturated. I like this tip a lot. All right. So yeah, I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna pull a little bit of uh, cotton out of this, and uh, we'll see how it is. So yeah, everybody go check out um, Joe's Live because I'm getting off here now. And uh, yeah, thank you everybody for stopping by. Philly, hi.